we're asked to determine the derivative function for each given function. First, we have f of x equals natural log of negative four cosecant x. Because f of x is a composite function, we do need to apply the chain rule to find f prime of x. We'll notice how the inner function, which we often refer to as u, is negative four cosecant x. So if we have u equals negative four cosecant x, we know we need to find u prime to apply the chain rule where u prime is equal to the derivative of negative four cosecant x with respect to x, which is negative four times the derivative of cosecant x, which is equal to negative cosecant x times cotangent x. And therefore u prime is equal to four cosecant x cotangent x. So now we can just think of f of x as f of x equals natural log u. And the derivative of natural log u with respect to x is equal to one divided by u times u prime, or if we want u prime divided by u. I'm gonna go ahead and use one divided by u times u prime. And therefore f prime of x is equal to, again, one divided by u is one divided by negative four cosecant x, and then we have times u prime, where u prime is equal to four cosecant x times cotangent x. Which if we want, we can put over one as a fraction. And notice we can simplify. Four divided by four simplifies to one, and cosecant x divided by cosecant x also simplifies to one. Notice we saw this negative sign here, and then we have negative one times cotangent x, f prime of x is equal to negative cotangent x. Let's take a look at the second example where we have g of x equals natural log of three secant x. Again, we have a composite function where the inner function u is equal to three secant x. So if we have u equals three secant x, we know we need to find u prime to apply the chain rule where u prime is equal to the derivative of three secant x, which is equal to three times the derivative of secant x, and the derivative of secant x is secant x times tangent x. And therefore, u prime is equal to three secant x times tangent x. So again, now we can think of the original function as just g of x equals natural log u, and the derivative of natural log u with respect to x is equal to one over u times u prime, giving us g prime of x is equal to one divided by u, which is one divided by three secant x, and then times u prime, where u prime is three secant x times tangent x. And again, we can write this as a fraction with the denominator of one, if that's helpful. Simplifying, three secant x divided by itself simplifies to one, leaving us with g prime of x is equal to one times tangent x, or g prime of x equals tangent x. I hope you found this helpful.